You've probably heard this saying, smart people learn from their own mistakes, while wise people learn from the mistakes of others. Everyone who attended a regular school or a classical university was part of an old educational system created long ago in a different era. Back then, during the industrial age, what was sought after were people who followed orders, not those who questioned. The job market needed many obedient workers and laborers. They expected to be well paid over the years and could stay in the same company until retirement, with job security and a guaranteed retirement plan. However, we now live in the information age, not the industrial age. Simply following orders is not enough to ensure a stable job. The idea of working for decades in a secure job and receiving adequate retirement is practically non-existent. But the educational system in many schools and countries remains the same. It teaches us to obey, not to question, and often penalizes us for making mistakes, when in fact it should reward us, as that is how we learn best. Furthermore, most of the time, we are only taught to earn money by exchanging our time for it, like becoming a lawyer, doctor, economist, accountant, and so on. However, we rarely receive teachings on how to manage our personal finances, use credit cards responsibly, deal with mortgages, split bills, or start our own business. Most schools, universities, and even some families still avoid talking about financial education. As a result, many people have a low level of understanding about money and continue to work hard for it, instead of making money work for them. This happens because that's what they learned and what society expects of them. The lesson here is that if we want to be financially prosperous, it's not enough to just know how to earn money with our time. We need to learn how to make our money earn more money. I'll share some habits that have changed my life and my relationship with money. It's important to apply them together, but as you incorporate them into your daily life, you'll see amazing results. I'm confident that these small actions have accelerated my journey as an entrepreneur and investor. Tip 1. Always complete what you start. Pause to think about it. If you tend to leave books unfinished, it's important to pay attention to this bad habit. How we deal with the small things often reflects how we deal with the big ones. If we have big dreams and goals, we can start by completing a smaller task, like finishing a book. If we aim for excellence, we can begin by doing well in the simple things of everyday life. Tip 2. Keep your promises. Warren Buffett, considered the greatest investor of all time, says it takes 20 years to build a good reputation and only 5 minutes to ruin it. When you reflect on this, you realize the importance of acting consistently. There's a very relevant phrase in the world of investments that says, invest where you put your word. Many people talk about investments, but few actually invest in what they say. Everyone has opinions, but not everyone has results. This phrase is crucial not only for investments, but for life in general. I firmly believe that consistency is one of the most important values in business and investments. We must maintain coherence between what we say and what we do. It's essential to respect our words, because in the end, that's what others will say about us. Even more importantly, we must be accountable for what we promise ourselves, because ultimately, that's what will define our reputation to others. Here's tip number three, surprise positively. The secret to success in many endeavors lies in delivering more value than the customer expects. We should positively surprise people by exceeding the expectations they have of us. That's the key to achieving extraordinary results. For example, when you go to Starbucks for a coffee, you don't just get a quality drink. You also enjoy excellent service, a pleasant atmosphere, and all the necessary accessories. They offer more than you expect, and that's why you decide to come back and recommend the place. If we want to achieve financial success, we must think about how we can add a lot of value to people's lives, solve problems, and exceed their expectations with our solutions. Tip 4. If you don't understand, don't proceed. As I mentioned earlier, the current educational system values good grades more than true learning. This is because the focus is on assessing the outcome, not the learning process itself. Therefore, I suggest that if we don't understand why we're doing something, we shouldn't start until we have total clarity. When we fully comprehend the purpose of a task, we not only fulfill it, but also surpass it. Tip 5. Ask questions. Lots of questions. The biggest misunderstandings often happen due to communication failures. It's more advantageous to ask questions, even if they seem simple, about something we don't understand than to remain in doubt 
forever just to appear intelligent from the outset. No one should judge someone for asking questions. After all, nobody is born knowing everything. In fact, everyone's learning process is based on asking questions. If we don't question, we don't evolve. It's also crucial to know whom to direct the questions to. We should seek guidance from people who have proven results or reliable information about what we want to learn, rather than simply following opinions. Tip 6. Listen. We have two ears and one mouth. I've learned a lot from the difficult financial challenges I've faced. I've seen my businesses fail several times, spent more than I earned, and it was in those moments that I realized I had more to learn than I knew. Even the smartest person can learn something from anyone else. We're not above anyone, but we're not inferior either. Communication, contrary to what many think, is more about listening than speaking. Try to practice this more often. I recently read that we can't learn while we're talking, but we can learn by listening. Tip 7. Make reading a habit. A valuable tip about reading. It's not necessary to read every book. There's a more effective approach. Notice which books successful people recommend. Make a list of these books and gradually acquire them to read. If a book seems expensive, consider whether the cost of not having that knowledge would be even greater. Habit 8. Take a trip. I see that the best investment someone can make is in themselves, always seeking improvement. Therefore, traveling can be an excellent way to invest in yourself if it's something you desire. Let me tell you a story. In my various travels, I've met people who inspired me to venture, invest, and grow. I've also encountered different realities that allowed me to develop business ideas or apply new approaches to the projects I've managed. I firmly believe that in any job or venture, Someone who has traveled and experienced different realities will be valued over someone who has never stepped out of their comfort zone. Nowadays, traveling is not just a distant possibility, but a choice we can all make. Tip 9. Transform your habits for success. If you aim for success and financial freedom, you need to understand that you must change your habits to achieve them. Remember that you become what you think. Your thoughts turn into actions. What we do repeatedly becomes part of who we are. Our habits shape our identity and our actions. May our habits guide us towards our dreams, filling us with energy and happiness along the way. I hope these tips have been helpful to you. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe to the channel, and share your opinions in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, I'll be happy to hear them. Until next time.